tonight. One of you went all out. Who has gone for gold in the gluttony stakes? Congratulations, you've won $30,000 cash. And what's the catch? There's always a twist in The Biggest Loser house. Then, Cam struck down. If there is something wrong with his heart, the odds aren't good. And... What's inside? There's never been a prize like this before. A monumental challenge. Mez, let's go, finish with some pride. With a massive reward. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> well done, everyone. You survived your very first temptation. Thank you. One of you consumed 32 calories eating barbecue sauce. Oh, who was that? Caitlin, that was you. Oh. <laughs> oh, I missed okay. saw. Another of you also consumed 32 calories eating tomato sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Never trust a ginger smurf. <laughs> but one of you went all out. Consuming 3,019 calories. Oh my God. And that person was. Cal. I was a bit let down. Cal's been the leader of the black team pretty much from the start. I thought he'd be stronger. Four. Cal ate a steak sandwich, a hot dog with sauce and washed it all down with a large cola. Commando is going to go off. I just can't believe he did it. Congratulations, Cal. You've won Temptation and the $30,000 cash. That's a lot of money, should you choose to keep it. Because remember, Cal, there's always a twist in The Biggest Loser house. Yeah. Yeah. As a group, so far, you've raised over $40,000 for Ararat. Should you choose to take the money, it will come straight from the kitty. Dropping it to just over $10,000. For me, that's the worst case scenario. That's why we came here, to raise money for the town. Big choice, girl. Hey, think of all these kids that money could benefit. I sort of thought, there's going to be a twist, but it does have to be this one. How do you feel about potentially taking money from the kitty? Yeah, it doesn't sit lightly. Um, but 30 grand is a big help building a house at the moment. So, yeah, it's, it's a very big decision. That, to me, is money that we've all earned. I oh, know I couldn't keep it. We've worked pretty hard to get that 40 G. I know Cal's worked pretty hard too, eating 3,000 kilo today, but, yeah, no, that, we've done pretty hard yards to get to that, get that amount. That's not his money, that's everyone's. Well, Cal, you have until the next weigh-in to make up your mind. Thank you, Harley. I've got a massive decision to make now. Which one, to me, is more important? The people of Ararat or my own family? Cal eating temptation, it makes you question how loyal he is to the black team. He's disappointed us. He's lost a little bit of respect. I'm a little disappointed in Cal for letting the black team down a little bit. I really hope, though, that Commando comes down on him hard. Yes. And that he does get a shocking weigh-in. It's going to be extremely hard to burn 3,000 calories in one day. Yeah. We've got 1,000 calories a day. That's three days of food he ate in 10 minutes. Oh. <laughs> He's been talking the talk, and as a black team, we've been sort of going along with that. And then you sort of have to go back and think to yourself, oh, hang on a minute. Have we just been playing his game? This could be his undoing. What's done, he's done. Like, he's done it. Hopefully, 
Commando won't take it out on all of it. I'm not looking forward to the training session because Commando always says we're a team, so I think Cold and Temptation, we're all going down. Cal took temptation and deserves some punishment, and the whole black team is going to get some too. One in, all in. Come on, black team! Five more seconds, then we change. Cal consumed 3,000 calories. You've got to burn it off. All of you, you're all responsible for each other. I stated that in the first training session. We need to step it up, come on. At this point in time, the only thing that's going to get this team through is hard work, staying united. Come on, Cal, let's earn the respect back. This is where it should have been at from the start. No one person is greater than the black team. It's about time Cal learnt that. I'm sending him to the sin bin. You smash it out, and I don't want you letting the team down. You got it? Absolutely, mate. You know, he stepped outside of the team. He's taken temptation. And I believe it's created a divide within the black team. Let him work out on his own. The blue team's going to be all right. Let's go! There is a chink in the black team's armor now. Let's see how that sits on Cal's shoulders. Heading into the upcoming challenge, my blue team need to remember what it's like to fight. They are in for their first out and out hardcore boxing session. Touch and go, heart rate's up. We're going into the challenge. I want the advantage to the blue team. That's it, that's it, Cal, give it. Time, go! Quick! Boxing's one of the most taxing activities you can do. Two, time! It would have been extra hard for Mary. I need her to push herself way out of the comfort zone to bring this team back together. Punch out, punch out. Good. There, hold it there. There's no excuses, there. no hands, charity. Hands, hands. Mary, Good. you need to get moving and compete on behalf of the blue team. The only thing that's letting you down is this, because this is, can go faster, but you're going to have to be prepared to push it. OK? I let my team down in the Chains of Pain challenge on the beach. You got a job, though. <laughs> don't, don't say can't. I just can't lift it. I'm sorry. I'm not going to let my team down today. Quick. Get that lift out quicker, Mary. Up, up. The fear and dread of turning up to a session was gone. There was a difference in her eyes. She was here for business. Up, up. Good girls. Yeah, yeah. Mary, better. Give me some. Mary, slowly starting to increase her intensity. But she needs to realise she's capable of more. Good girls, better. Concentrate, straight onto the step, go. Come on, I'm the only one talking. You got the challenge coming up. Let's dig deep. Go. I feel the session today was quite fractured, and that's purely because of where people's heads were at coming out of this temptation. All that Cal can do from this point forward to weigh in is work hard. It's his actions that are going to earn back that respect. Stay true to yourselves. The things you don't like in other people, you make sure that that's not in your character. Rest. It's the only way you're going to improve. Don't waste your energy on someone else. I was really happy that Commando took Cal away because it showed that us six without Cal can still do it without him, even though he thinks we can't. Feel the cows let the team down? Yes. Why? What's I'm the in difference? the same situation as him. I'm broke. I'm completely and utterly broke. I've got a family and I've got financial difficulties, and you know, we have debts. I'm not here for that. I'm here to change my life and to lose weight. <laughs> You're surprised to see Cal take that? Disappointed. Disappointed? Hating that shit. <laughs> People aren't going to trust Cal like they did at the start. Is he a game player? Is he out for himself? The only way he's going to claw back that respect is through his action. But if they fall below that yellow line, they're going to throw him under the bus. No weaklings in the blue team. Rock solid. The unity within the blue team was starting to increase. I've definitely got something to work with here. Fight time, go! Come on, come on, Mary. Guys, this is called a mountain climber. It goes like this. Everybody hold this position, mountain climber, go. Looking over and seeing everyone putting in 100%, I just thought, this is really, really good. That's when my health started to deteriorate. Oh. <sighs> go, mate. 
felt a bit of something go wrong with the old ticker. Started to get a little bit scared then. By the look on his face, I could tell straight away that this was serious. After a couple of minutes of rest, he was still struggling to catch his breath, and his heart rate was still sky high. Cameron needs to see a medic ASAP. If there is something wrong with his heart, the odds aren't good. Coming up, it's challenge time. Today's challenge is going to grind you into the dust. Oh. You'll be competing <laughs> for this. But is this the end for Cam? That's not a good sign. It can be pretty serious. At the moment, I don't know. Time, go! Earlier in training... Mountain climber, go! Cam collapsed to the floor, struggling to catch his breath. <laughs> go, mate! His heart rate was racing flat out. This didn't look good. I stopped the session then and there and sent him straight to see the medic. Okay, how long have this happened for? This is the first time? First time. No pains in your chest? So I crossed my chest a little bit. Yep. And a little bit across my back. What did your um, heart rate get up onto the monitor? 220. Let me check your blood pressure, that. Yeah. Obviously, um, that's not a good sign, okay? It's very high. Um, it's pretty, can be pretty serious. Um, yep. At the moment, I don't know. My grandfather had a massive heart attack in his 50s, so. Yeah, it's a bit scary when you've got a bio age of 52 and you're starting to have heart conditions at 34. Your predicted age of death. I get chilled looking at that number. I'm doing this with my kids. This is the toughest thing I've ever had to do. I have to make this change. Anyone out there that gets told they've only got 18 years left on their life, I think, what are you going to miss? And that's why I want to be here till the very end. So there's no way no one, I'm dying <laughs> at 52 and my kids are going to grow up with a memory of me. So, till we get a specialist review. Yep. No more training? Nothing. No, no challenges, mate, no. Yep. So it's been picked up, you know, as well as you at home in the country. You might not have had this picked up, so that's a positive, hey? Yeah, it is a positive, I suppose. Okay. All right, mate, no worries, yeah. All right. All right, mate, good luck. No worries, thanks, Gav. Try not to worry about it. I need to see a specialist straight away. Um, so obviously, once the challenge's finished, I'll be off to see a doctor and find out my fate. I've really been struggling with my decision as to whether to keep the money or give it back, so I thought I'd grab my mate Craig. So how's your mind about that cash? You must have slept too well last night thinking about it. No, I tossed and turned a fair bit. And, yep. Yeah, I was up at the toilet a couple of times, flushing it all out like it didn't sit well in there, so... Yeah, didn't didn't make for an easy night. So how are you feeling about the money coming out the Arrow pool? That must be the hardest thing to deal with. Yeah, it is, mate. Look, to know that we all worked so hard that first week to get the 40 grand up, and then to know that I'm taking 30 of it home, look. The thoughts are, I've got a young family to look after, and I need to provide for them. You know, building a house, 30 grand straight off the loan, it's a it's a massive difference. Yeah, huge. So it's just one of those things you got to weigh up. Yep. I've not got a job, so it makes it hard sort of being a, just over a one-income family. We're trying to build a family home at the moment, and to be able to go home with 30 grand in my pocket would mean the absolute world to me. It's a big decision. Yeah, it's up to you, you know, you've got to live with it and face the Ararat community again and show your head in town. Yeah. Walk into the pub and everyone would know that you're the man who handed back 30,000 to the community. Not making it any easier on me, mate. Jeez. <laughs> Never be able to walk into a pub if I don't do it. That's the reality of it, I guess. Yeah. No, it is. Not it's to make it harder on you. Close community, so. I think he was really thinking hard about what he stands to lose and what he stands to gain with the $30,000, and uh, he's got very mixed emotions on which way he should go. told by a medic that I can't compete. It's heartbreaking. Put a lot of work into this blue team. So I walked into the atrium. Here's Mary sitting in the corner. Thought I'd better go over and see how she's going. How are you? Good. Good me. What's going to happen this week? <sighs> we're going to win. Doesn't matter what it is, we're going to win. No more excuses, Bess? Not at all. It's all in here, though. I know. And you know I'll help but... you. I've been, I've spent all week with you. That training session shows me that body to do amazing things when you get frustrated, when you get angry. 
And that's what I want you to do. You put your bandana on tomorrow and let's, let, let's rip. Yep. Let's beat the blacks for a change. Yep. I'm hurting though. Mm. Well, you would not believe. I understand. I'd have the medic tell me to stop, for Christ's sake. Mm. That's how much you're going to want it. It hurts, Mess. <sighs> What's there to be scared of? I can only do as much as I can do. Yes, I'm trying every day to improve it. Yeah. But I can't, after one week and a bit in here, I still have to pace myself a little bit more than you guys do. My hardest will never get to your level. It doesn't need to, though, Miss. I just want you to look me in the eye when you get up on those scales, when you look at me and go, Cam, that was everything I had. Yep. I don't care if it's half my pace. It's when you're sitting there going, oh, me toes and oh, my 170 kilos. Mm. No one gives a shit about that near. Mm, We're all fat. <laughs> but that's yep. the whole thing about The Biggest Loser. We're here to push our bodies as hard as we can. Yep. To lose the tool sheds and the, the big bellies. Yep. So he can walk back in and hubby's going to go, shit, that's my wife. Mm. And yeah, you're going to have times where you break down and, and emotionally wreck you. Last week, as you said, you had a bit of a brain fade and it started getting too much and you were over before it started. This week, water under the bridge. It all starts again today. We're proud to have you back, Dom. Yep. Right? Proud of you. Last week at the challenge, I fell apart. This time, I'm going to say, bring it on. We're the blue team and we're ready. I love challenge days. It's sort of my place to prove my strength in the black team. That's my stage. When we arrived at a shipping container yard, I thought, you know, we're going to have to be unpacking and repacking containers or something. When we got there, it was just containers everywhere. We could hardly contain ourselves. Welcome, contestants. What a great location for a challenge. I hope you're all well rested and mentally fresh because today's challenge is going to grind you into the dust. <laughs> And for a big challenge, we have a very, very big prize. You'll be competing for this. The mystery prize. When the giant forklift put the giant container down, I knew there'd be a giant prize in there. And believe me, contestants, you want to win this challenge. What's in the oh. box? I hope it's full of money. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, it's Commando versus Shannon in the container push. Come on, push come I'm going to pull out all stops to beat my opposition. One, two, three, push. All those muscles, they've got to be all show and no go, I reckon. And later, the mystery prize is revealed. Oh, my God! Today, you'll be competing for this. The mystery prize. And believe me, contestants, you want to win this challenge. Reaching that mystery prize is today's end goal. Here's how today's challenge will work. In your teams, you'll push these containers to the base of that stack. Then you'll use the 3.4 tonnes of hay bales in this container to build a staircase right to the top. The first team to reach the top will take the bolt cutters and open the mystery container. And they will win what's inside. Let's see how's guys. We can get it. Now, Blue Team, two of you have been ruled out of today's challenge for medical reasons. Cameron and Shannon, unfortunately, you won't be competing today. This week I hurt my knee, so I was ruled out of the challenge. So I'm feeling a bit, you know, worse for wear. 
So to keep things fair, we need to even up the teams. Cameron, because you were the biggest loser of the week, you have the power to choose which four black team members will be competing in today's challenge. Oh, oh, nice. oh man. You beauty. It's time for a bit of payback. They've been talking a bit of smack all morning about we're all falling apart. Let's see how your team goes when we take a few of your leaders away. And Cameron, you must make this decision on your own. You cannot confer with your team. Caitlin, Sharon, Craig and Tony. We can do it, guys. <laughs> I was pretty disappointed that Cameron chose me not to compete. It was probably the smart choice on their side, but it doesn't sit well with me. Cameron couldn't put the four girls to work against the blue team, but the choices he made were hard but fair. This is going to be a battle royal. Well, this is a challenge designed for at least five people. And I know our trainers like to lead by example. Hey, step up. <laughs> Full show, no go, mate. All right, blank team. Excellent. Commando assistiness, that's awesome. Commando's a machine. <gasps> you see in his arms. <sighs> Well, now we have two full teams. Let's get ready for today's challenge. Best of luck. Thanks, Thanks Harley. Harley. There's plenty of pressure on my entire blue team today, but particularly Mary. In the last challenge, she broke down and probably cost the blue team a win. Mary, you've now got a platform to prove to everybody you're not a quitter. I'm good at this. Good. Good. That's how much we want. That's what I'm talking about. Right, hands in. My team Let's needs go. a lift. We need to win this challenge. Blue light. So, team leader, Craig. Yeah. Everyone up for that? Yeah. Boys, object to that? No way. No. Thanks, guys. I was rather proud that he chose me to do it, and also rather nervous, knowing that he'd be there watching and his expectations. So, for the other three that aren't competing, moral support. All right, guys, let's do it, eh? Come on. Come on. Go. The dark side. <laughs> dark side. <laughs> Cal and Kerr have been sat out of today's challenge, so who better to be the team leader than Craig? I hope he can live up to the expectation. Contestants, best of luck. Ready, set. Go, 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 go. Get to the back, get to the back, get to the back. My strategy going into this challenge is lead from the front. Right, get that log, get that log, let's go. I'm extremely competitive. You throw me in a competition, I'm going to give it my go, all. Let's go, let's go, get on there. I'm going to pull out all stops to beat my opposition. Let's go, one, two, three, push. And if that means, you know, beating the Smurfs, I'm going to go out there and do it. It was great to go into battle today against Commando. All those muscles, they've got to be all show and no go, I reckon. Use your legs, drive your legs, push your feet against watch the ground. Watch your legs, watch your legs. Keep going, keep going, blue! Keep going, blue! The black team had pushed to the front. They were spacing out their logs further than us, so each push, they were getting further down the track. Push, come on! Wait, 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 wait. Harder! That's it, we're out! The odds were stacked against the blue team catching up. The black team were way ahead, but I knew the race was far from over. Go, 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 you got one to go. The rest of the team's relying on you. Push! Good, push! Good, good, push! Good. Push! 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 Out! 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 That's it. Nah, nah, nah. Everyone, everyone come to the front. Push back. What? Everyone to the front and push back. Get What? One side of the log was propped up, and we couldn't get the edge of the container over the log. Yeah, it was frustrating. That's it, that's it. Stop. Get this log out of the way. Move it. Move it. You could see the frustration building in the black team. They could see we were catching up. The closer we got, the more pressure was on them. Go, Blue! Yeah, oh, 
We wasted some crucial minutes, but we managed to get there. If we can create that lead, demoralise the blue team, we've got it in the bag. Come on, let's go! Touch me, three, let's go! Come on! We're almost there, let's hear a smash! Touch it! It was really good when we heard the bang where it hit up against the wall and we knew we got to the finish. It was going to be a good head start. Let's get those hay bales out. Let's go, let's go! Good work, Aileen. Even though the black team had beaten us to the container, we weren't far behind them. We had a massive finish with our container push, and I knew we could run them down. Go, 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 drive, drive! Keep pushing, straight to the wall, straight to the wall. Well done, guys, well done! I was having the time of my life, but my run was over. It was time to drop the trainers, and for the blue and black teams to go head to head, four against four. Go, Miz! The black team were about 20 hay bales ahead of us. As I looked down the track, I thought, mate, we've got our work cut out for us here. That's it, jog down there. Come on, Keep jog, pushing, jog, 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 jog. I know it's painful. Forzy. Going into the hay bale section, we did have some strategy. We wanted to put a few hay bales about a third of the way down, then others would run those hay bales forward. We have such a, a huge lead, there is no reason why we should lose from this point forward. Go, Matty. Just go. Just drag Let's it. Go. Katrina and Nat were to carry two hay bales between them each time on the way down, one in the front, one in the back. Mary was just going to drag her bales as best she could. In the past, when Mary's faced with exhaustion and discomfort, she just quits. If she did, in today's challenge, I had no doubt it would be lost. Dragging hay bales with your hands is excruciating, and it hurts. I don't want a repeat of last week's challenge. This week, I'm prepared to work a hell of a lot harder. You're the power, remember? That's it, Dar. Well done. Mary struggled at the start. I remember walking a few laps with her, and then it, something Mary clicked. The moan and Mary then moan, just growled. Good, Mary. You're fantastic today. I love the new Mary. Good, Mary. Come Stay on, right man. with these girls. With some purpose, honey. You got a purpose in this team. Uh, uh, uh. Mary was exhausted and just continually dragged the bales out of that container. She never stopped. Without a doubt, Mary proved to the blue team that she's not a weak link. I could literally see the blue team mowing the black team down. We're going great. Look at that. What a catch up, mate. Come on, black team. We Come don't on, want mate. this blue team catching up to us. Let's stay consistent. Come on. Come on. Don't stop. OK, Len. He's got to fall oh, out. Oh, Hey! All of a sudden, we started to implode. And really, that came down to our teamwork. The encouragement and the words of advice just dissipated. There was nothing. Come on, two together. You've got to do two. You've got to do two. You can't just I do one. I will do two. You've got to do two. When Cal was on the sideline, he was just yelling abuse, really. I found it very degrading. Come on, mate. Come on. He was just yelling out mean things and just screaming and swearing and... All he did was put us down. I know, mate. I, I don't think I was yelling so much in frustration. I thought I was trying to encourage them. They need to talk and they need to communicate between each other. And there was just none going on. Come on, jog back then Let's if go. you're going to take one at a time. Jog back. Let's go. Come on, black team. Push. No. He was sort of shouting at us for a while and he was sort of on that sort of bandwagon. Come on, Boobs, you got to push, mate. Come on, let's go. Shut up. You're the leader. It was massively frustrating watching the blue team take the lead. And I was trying to tell Craig, you know, like, this is the time where you got to lift and you got to lead by example and you got to talk and stuff like that. But he was just too buggered to do anything. So you got to do something about it, right? You take ownership of the team and do it. I don't want to lose, mate. But as the challenge got more intense, rather than sort of Cal giving some positive comments, you're sort of, you know, degrading people, and it brought the whole team down a bit, I felt. Craig, 
Shut up! I'm on, mate! Cal had put Craig down that much that Craig gave up. That's how far. Coming up, who will win the challenge? We're going to need more. We should have had 42. Ow! And we find out what's inside the mystery prize. Oh, my God! The black team seemed in disarray. There were some people flipping bales, some people dragging them, other people's bales were falling apart in their hands. The blue team just kept motoring on like a finely oiled machine. Don't cry, Al. It's going to make it even harder to get up there. Come on, you've, this is it. You're up the top, Nutty. You're up the top, though. Look, you've made it. Blue team, congratulations. First staircase complete. Well done. The blue team had caught up, and we were first to complete the initial staircase. But there was still one to go, and that was going to be the toughest. Well done, Matt. Well done, Matty. On the front. Come on, Matty. Keep going, mate. Yeah, saw the grey cloud starting to roll in, and then we got a little bit of rain, and I thought those bales were going to get heavier and heavier. Keep going, buddy. Keep pushing now. Getting a bit of rain. This will make you feel better. Bloody oath it does. Oh! No. Come on, Mez. Let's go. Come on. Keep going, Mez. Round the side here. Keep going. Can I get a bale up here now? Katrina and Nat jumped up to the top, and they did the lion's share of the work on the blue container. Come on. Let's get that bait yeah, on there again. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Here we go. Come on. These are the last two dogs. Even though the girls were on top of the container, the work wasn't finished for Matt and for Mary. Come, Mez. Let's go. Keep going, guys. You're nearly there. Even though Matt was exhausted, he just kept powering on. And Mary had proved to everybody that she's not a weak link. <sighs> Don't do it now, then. I'm not stopping. I'm changing hands. Good girl. <sighs> Just get it right down there. Oh. No quit. you got one to go. The rest of the team's relying on you as a part of our team. You're doing great. Coming up. They're it's coming not. up. they got 42. Let's go. Matt, do you reckon <laughs> we're going to need more? Because I'll start well, walking right, down man. with Mary, because we don't want to run out at the oh, end and have none. We should have had 42. All we needed was 42. All right. <laughs> Knees, mate. How many more do you need, Shen? You got that. About ten. Oh. We need ten more, guys. Oh. We've only got seven. Ten. With so many people moving, it was almost impossible to keep count of how many bales of hay we had. I did a rough count, and it turned out that it was wrong. Matty, carry it up. We're going to get one more. Come on, guys. The blue team have run out of bales. We've got to run all the way back to the container. We've got all ours here. Tony, this is our Tony, chance. Help her out. Come on. Hey, this is our we're chance to beat the blue here. team. Let's go. We had all our hay bales ready to build the second lot of steps, and we were moving them up quite quickly. And they still had to go back and get a couple of, of hay bales. At that point in time, I thought we could catch up. Can't they haven't got enough bales? We can catch them. Craig had hay all over him, but he wasn't stopping. When you are in second place or you're coming from behind, this is where you need to dig deep. This is going to test your resolve. We're all hurt, but the end is near. Six to go, guys. Matt, before you come down. Good work, Shaz. Come on, do your girls proud. Good work, Shazzy. But I'll get him there. I'm going to climb him up. You can keep up with me, mate. No, Mary's going to climb him up. Look. Come on, guys. We're getting there. We're touching him. That's good, Craig. Let's go. Come on. We are not giving up. That is not in our DNA. Blue teams are in the lead. Black team, you are still in this. You're getting your hay bales up much quicker. This is still on you guys. Don't give up until it's finished. Come on, don't give up. <sighs> Natty, well done, Dal. This is nearly it. Oh, yeah. Don't need don't it, Bess. Bess, don't one. need it, Dal. Right there. Go get a moment. Go, get loud. Get loud. Right now. Go, crazy. Go, 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 when I was on top of the container, I just heard someone yell out from the blue team to Katrina, get up the top, that they'd done it. And once I looked up and seen Katrina running towards the bolt cutters, I realised it was over and we weren't going to win. Go, Kat! 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 Go, K
had kicked the black team to the curb. I was so proud of what my team had done. It's not the fact that we'd won the challenge. It was the way that we'd competed today. Maddie. Well done, Maddie. 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 She put the bolt cutters on the lock, snipped through, unwound the chain and opened the door. And out came a massive prize. Oh, my God! What? Oh, my God! Go, Kat! Go, 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 go. It was almost a Rocky-esque moment as Katrina climbed to the top of those containers. The blue team had done it. We won. I, I wasn't happy when Katrina got to the top and we'd lost, but you sort of just get disappointed that the teamwork aspect dropped off. I was really hoping it wasn't a car. <laughs> I really need a car. Guess who's back? <laughs> Blue team, congratulations. Say hello to your newest member, Dinkin. Yeah. It's the first time an eliminated contestant has ever been brought back into another series. Kevin was the biggest male contestant we've ever had here at The Biggest Loser. Originally weighing in at 254.7 kilos. Kevin. You are the heaviest contestant in the history of The Biggest Loser worldwide. If things don't change here, what's next? Death. Big Kev on day one was basically a dead man walking. The doctors wouldn't even touch him for weight loss surgery, yet he turned up here wanting to be trained. This is the new Kev. There's no looking back. Kevin's proved to everybody that nothing's impossible. That's a boy! Come on, get into it! He's lost an incredible amount of weight and he's done it the right way through hard work, guts and determination. Yes! Yes! Your current weight is... Yeah! 98.6 kilos. Kevin's done well on the outside, but his biggest loser journey is far from over. I can't wait to see Kevin's transformation in the end of his second series. Kev will be a huge asset to your team. He has lost over 55 kilos since the day he started The Biggest Loser. Well done, Kev. And now he's back for round two. <laughs> Kev, grab your blue T-shirt and join your new team. Well done. Thanks, Hayley. Come on, Kev. Well, watch out the black team. You may now no longer have the upper hand. Well, Kev, we know how proud you were of your blue T-shirt. How does it feel to be back in your old colour? Certainly the right colour, Hayley. Happy to hear that, Shannon. Yeah, he did blue pretty well last time, Hayley, and he's lost a hell of a lot of weight since we last saw him. So uh, I just hope, mate, you can come into this team and, and give some insight. Make sure we keep him in that gym. Sound good, blue team? Yeah. Sounds good. I think this has been the blue team's week. We've come together again as a team. We've taken out the challenge. We now have big Kev. The black team's going to have to start to worry about what we could do. Guys, you can head back to the house and I'll see you all very soon. Thanks, Ailey. Thanks, Ailey. I was very happy to get the blue jersey back on. Blue for life. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you reckon about getting Kev in the team? Well, the last person I expected to see was Kev. Yeah, big Kev. <laughs> That's a big surprise. Yep. Believe me. Got a fair bit of weight to lose, though, so it could be bloody good for the kitty for Ararat. It could be. When the team's winning, Cal's all in for black. But as soon as we're losing, he just doesn't seem, he doesn't come across that he's caring anymore. Yeah. For Cal not to say well done at the end, I'm disappointed. We worked our asses out, we and did. 
him just to ignore us. I went up near him and he totally ignored me. Yeah, that was he could have cool. said, good job, Sharon, or good job, Caitlin. We worked our ass out. Not just like Cam's a world, actually. It might be nothing, but it might be something major. And, and he's so distraught about mm. missing the competition. But yeah. like I said to him last night, his health is so much more important. Mm. But he yeah. just wants to give that 110% at all times, doesn't yeah. he? So he is going to really struggle psychologically with however it comes out 